Hello guys, welcome back for another video from iTechno. Now today I want to show you guys how to install Android 4.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now Android 4.3 isn't out just yet in the UK. It's out in Ireland, but not just yet in the UK. This is actually the Irish version, but it will install perfectly fine in the UK and in many countries, as long as your model is that there, the GTI 9300. If your model's that, it's fine. If it's any of the other models, don't try it because it'll probably mess up your phone. So things you should know before installing this is that really it's going to wipe all your data. And even if it doesn't wipe all your data, I do suggest you wipe it yourself as it'll make the ROM run a lot smoother. So obviously, first of all, wipe all your data. Um, or you can do it after you've installed the ROM, your choice. So to flash the ROM, first of all, go to this website here I've put. I, um, I'll put this in the description as well so you can quickly get to it and to download it you'll see there are prerequisites there's a download link here so just click on that download link and you can see you can download it from hot file I'll actually put the link for the hot file here just so you can get straight to it and download it so they go, go ahead download that that will give you the firmware then once that's downloaded you're going to want to download a tool called Odin. So as you can see there, there's Odin 3 version 3.09. The version doesn't really matter too much, they all work fine. I found I'm still using good old version 3. Um, but there you go, go ahead, download Odin 3 while that's downloading. Then once they've both downloaded, you'll be ready to flash. There you go, once your firmware and Odin have downloaded, you're going to want to navigate to Odin so as you can see I've already gone to it but find where you downloaded it and just open it up now before you should do anything on before you do anything on here there's two things you'll need to do number one is make sure your phone is fully charged and if you want all your data to be kept backed up I would say fully charge your phone because really you want your phone on as much charge as possible before doing this in case your battery goes flat during it and that can then mess up your whole phone so do charge your phone decently my phone isn't fully charged but I'm confident that it's charged enough um, so charge your phone up and then also you want to put your phone into download mode so I'll show you now how to put your phone into download mode okay so to put your phone into download mode first of all you want to unplug it from any charger or anything you've got it plugged into so just unplug it and once it's unplugged simply power off so as you can see here if I click then power off just that one there and OK. Go it's shutting down. And wait for it to fully shut down. You can tell when it's fully shut down from the LED. Once that goes off, it's fully shut down. Be patient with it, don't take the battery out, let it fully mm -hmm. shut down for sure. And there you go, it's now fully shut down, you can see that LED's turned off. And once it's shut down, what you want to do is, hold the power button, the home button, and the volume down button, all at the same time. So this is going to be a bit awkward with one hand, but I'll try my best for you guys. There you go, you can see there, it says custom OS can cause critical problems in a phone blah 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 as long as you're sensible you shouldn't get any critical problems so just click volume up to continue and you can see it says downloading do not turn off target so basically what it's saying there is don't turn off your phone and now to proceed you want to plug your phone in to your computer so that your computer can flash the firmware to the phone okay so now that your phone is in download mode um, and once you plug it into the computer you'll see in the boxes on the top you'll get a little icon appear there you go you can see there I zero com nine that's just saying your phone's connected so to flash the firmware you want to click on this PDA button here don't click phone click PDA and then navigate to where you downloaded that piece of firmware I showed you so Samsung Galaxy S3 it was MJ9, so that one there. And there you go, you can see XXUG MJ9. So just open that up in here. And it's just going to quickly check 
the piece of firmware, just make sure there's no issues with it. It may say not risk patient with it, it can take a lot of processing power to check this. There you go, as you can see, it's now checked the file and it's loaded up in there. Now what you want to do is tick auto reboot and tick F reset time. You don't need to tick anything else unless you know what you're doing. Just if you don't know what you're doing, don't tick anything else. Only tick auto reboot and F reset time. Double check your phone's plugged in. Make sure you've made a backup and once all that's done, just go ahead and click start. You see it's now flashing it. You'll be able to see it on your phone and that is flashing it as well. Um, make sure you do not move your phone around while this process is going on as it can cause the phone to become a soft brick so to speak so in other words your phone will be unusable so don't mess around with it leave it to flash so you can see there the firmware is now flashing you can see downloading do not have do not turn off target and you've even got the bar slowly going across this is going to be pretty slow because it is a big firmware file to flash you see I've done this before from um, the yes um, eight counts or whatever it says five counts sorry of flashing um, yeah just be patient with it don't move it around because you'll mess it up and like I said I'll get back to you once this is done there you go guys as you can see the installation is now coming to an end it's pretty close to completing the bar um, it should reboot once it's done there you go as you can see the phone's now shutting down and it's rebooting so far so good there you go now this is more installing phase so don't be worried if this pops up on your phone right after rebooting it's perfectly normal and happens in all cases this one shouldn't take too long there you go that's done see it's now going to reboot again there we go phone's rebooting you can see the samsung boot logo Still booting up. The first boot will take a while. First boot always takes longer than um, successive boots. It just seems to be the case. Must just be initialization and things like that going on. Your phone will then start to do this. This is just because the Dalvik cache has been wiped by installing the new firmware. Once again, it's not much to worry about, it's just making sure the apps are optimised. So, in other words, just make sure they're all running as they should on this operating system. Since it's no longer the same operating system as before, it's now 4.3. So there we go, just give that time and it'll complete. I'll get back to you again once this is complete. As you can see, it'll then start to show a screen like this, saying installing applications. I'm presuming this is actually backing up all of my applications I had installed previously. If not, it's just installing all the stock applications you always got on Android, such as Gmail, Google Now, things like that. Um, we'll see, but even if it has installed my applications, I still do suggest you wipe it, as it will help the ROM to run a lot smoother. So just let this complete. There you go, it's now rebooted for me. As you can see, I was actually very fortunate. It's kept all of my apps. Some of you guys will like this. You'll want your apps kept. Me, personally, don't like it. Think it will slow down the firmware if it was installed the way it was. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uninstall all those apps. Or Actually, I'll wipe the whole phone. So you guys do what you want. I'm going to wipe the phone myself. Um, and just enjoy Android 4.3. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like the video or subscribe for more videos from iTechno. Thank you very much.